Hey everybody, welcome to Witness Wednesday, an initiative of the Diocese of Springfield and our Year of the Eucharist. Today we're going to hear from a testimony from Francisco Walmawa. Francisco was born in Kenya, and she's the mother and the grandmother, and she is the, a member of Holy Name Parish in Springfield. Francisca is going to tell us a little bit about how she always wanted to be Catholic as a little girl, and how the Eucharist is central to her life as a Catholic today. My parents were non-Catholic, so they dedicated us in the, in the Protestant church. And down the line, my elder sister and brother were taken to a boarding school, which was a Catholic. And they, in the first year, they got baptized. When they came home for holidays, I used to accompany them to church on Sundays. And I used to admire them so much when I saw them receiving the Holy Eucharist. I didn't know what it was, although they tried to explain to me, but it was like a miracle to me. So I asked them so many questions. So how does it taste like? How do you feel after receiving? And what is in it? In, in, it, uh, in it? They explained, they told me, this is the body of, of Christ and once what you see as bread is not bread, it changes into body and blood of Jesus. I had a very big longing to receive. The following year when I was 15, I was baptized. I was given my first Holy Communion. I grew so fond of the Eucharist. I couldn't even, uh, there's, there's no Sunday I miss church, or when I'm in school, there's no day I miss mass. And the reason being that I know that God is there in that Eucharist, and God is in the church, and that's the only way I can be close to Him. So I love even adoration on Saturday, which was open to all the school. I attended all of them, Saturday and Sunday, without fail. So, and it has, with that uh, background, it has just become like, um, like a right for me to be in the church, and it has just become something that I cannot do without. I love so much being in the church, and just the presence of my God, I'll do anything. I can sit there for hours and hours. Some of my friends would ask me, what do you do in the church this long? Don't you get tired? One hour is enough. I say, no, to me it's not enough. My God is there. I can thank Him. I can beg Him. I can just sit there, kneel there the whole day, and I will not get tired. If they come to know and love Jesus in the Eucharist, they will never look back because there's nothing out there. Whatever you do, there's nothing in the world that you can say is better than being in the presence of God. 